here at question 2 in tutorial sheet 4. And this question says, suppose the demand for labor is given by this equation here, and the demand for supply is given by this equation here, where L represents the number of people employed, and W represents the real wage rate per hour. Part A says, what will be the equilibrium level for wage and labor in the market? And we could solve that right here. To get the equilibrium level, we just set demand equal to supply. So we would set labor demanded, which is equal to negative 50 W plus 450, equal to labor supply, which is equal to 100 W, right? And so, well, we could just do it here. So this would be 150 W is equal to 450. And if you solve for W, so you divide both sides by 150, you will get that the equilibrium wage is $3. And if you substitute this equilibrium wage back into any of these formula, the demand or supply, you would get that the equilibrium labor in the market is equal to 100 times 3, which is equal to 300. Right, so that answers part A of the question. Now, part B of the question says, suppose the government wishes to raise the equilibrium wage to $4 per hour by offering a subsidy to employers. So this part is important. The subsidy is being paid to employers so that the employers can afford to pay these workers $4 per hour. How much will this subsidy have to be? And what will the new equilibrium level of employment be? how much total subsidy will be paid. So to figure this out, we must first understand that the demand for labor rep is representative of the employers, right? Of the firms in the market, the companies in the market, those are the people who demand labor. And the supply of labor is given by the working class, so the employees. So the employees, these are the ones who demand labor, and they would be demanding labor given this equation here, because this is the equation for the demand of labor, right? And the employees, these are the working ones, so these are the ones who would supply labor, and they would supply labor according to this equation here. And we know that the government want the equilibrium wage to be $4. So the new labor supplied will be 100 times 4, which is equal to 400. This is your labor supplied. But the labor demanded by the firm would not be as simple as putting up $4 here because the company would not actually be paying $4 for each worker that they hire because they're being subsidized. This wage is being subsidized by the government. So the labor demanded would be negative 50 and instead of this wage, $4, the company would actually be paying $4 for the workers but they would get back some value, I will call it S, from the government. So they're paying the $4 to each worker for every hour as a wage, but they're getting back from the government some value S, and this is the value of the subsidy. So they will minus it in this equation here because they're getting it back from the government, plus 450. So what we need to do now is set the labor demand equal to the labor supply so that we could calculate this value of S in equilibrium. So negative 50, 4 minus S plus 450 is equal to 400. So therefore you would get that 4 minus 1 is equal to S, therefore S must equal to 3. So the subsidy being paid by the government must be $3 for each worker hired. If we substitute $3 for each worker hired into this equation here, then we would get that the labor demanded is also equal to 400 and therefore we'll have an equilibrium in the market. So the subsidy must be $3 for each worker hired. Now the equilibrium in the market in this case would be at a wage of $4 and a labor supply and labor demand of 400 The question also asks what is the total subsidy being paid? So if the price of the subsidy is $3 and the quantity of workers working would be 400, so 3 times 400 is equal to 1,200, so the total cost of the subsidy must equal to $1,200.
and this will be per hour. So Parsi says, suppose the government declares a minimum wage of $4 per hour. How much labor would be demanded at this price and how much unemployment would there be? And to graph your results. If the wage is $4, then the labor demanded here would be negative 50 times 4 plus 450. And this would be equal to negative 200 plus 450, which is equal to 250. And in this case, the labor supplied would be 100 times 4, which is equal to 400. So we would not have equilibrium in the market because the labor supplied is not equal to the labor demanded. If you take the supply and minus the labor demand, then you would get 400 minus 250, which is equal to 150. So therefore, we would have 150 unemployed people in the workforce. So you'd have 150 unemployed people because you just set the minimum wage to $4 per hour. This is easy to see because as wages increase, the labor supply would increase, but the labor demand would decrease because companies would know how to pay more for each worker hired. The last part of this question says to graph your results. So if you were to graph it, then this would be the graph for part A, B, and C that we have discussed so far. This initial part here would be the point for part A, where the equilibrium labor in the market was 300 and the equilibrium wage was $3. And for part B, it would be here where the equilibrium labor was 400 and the equilibrium wage was $4. And part C, we would be operating here, where at a wage of $4, the labor demanded is $250, but the labor supplied is actually $400. So we have to operate here. And this is part C, but this is only because we would, would have set a minimum wage of $4. And that's it for this question. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.